Hi, Simon here. Super quick video, I just had this idea this morning. Uh, these have just come out. It's the new steam control from Valve, and these are touch pads. Uh, and you can configure these in all sorts of crazy different ways, but one of the ways you can do it is with as to actually set each one of these touch pads as a left and right joystick, which means you might actually better use this to fly a quadcopter. Now, anybody that's played FPV Freerider or any other simulators knows that these are useless for flying quadcopters. They just don't have the resolution and the accuracy to be able to actually fly uh, as well as you would, say, fly with a Tyrannus. Um, but these are coming, like a lot more people are going to have these soon, uh, and like because you can actually take these touch pads and it's not like the touchpad actually has direct positioning, so if you tap the top, it actually moves the joystick direct instantaneously to the top. It's not like an offset like some touchpads where you have to keep moving up like that. Uh, so I basically just imported this into, imported Freerider into Steam, like set up a custom controller, uh, and basically said left and right joysticks, and then just mapped it directly in, uh, in FPV Freerider, and it seems to it seems to be okay. So um, it does take a little bit of getting used to. It's more sensitive than a Tyrannus. Uh, and you don't have the feedback of like where you actually are. Um, but I think with a bit of tweaking, it'd be totally usable. So anyway, here we go. This is me attempting to fly with uh, the new Valve Steam Controller. And it crashed. One of the nice things is you can actually just like do crazy stuff, like just tap the button. And like, I think once you like get a little bit more used to flying with these, like it's okay to take your fingers off and then just like put them back where you want them, which is sort of the same as like being able to instantaneously move your sticks from position to position. And the other thing to remember is that like your normal Tyrannus sticks, except for the throttle, uh, they all spring back to the center, which means that you're forced to keep your fingers on the sticks the whole time you're flying, right? But with this, you don't have to. Like when you take your fingers off the sticks, uh, they sort of they don't move back to the center. They are instantaneously centered. So for flying acro, it means you can like just like take your fingers off the sticks, and they'll kind of stay where you put them. And I don't know. Like, maybe I can show you like by holding the screen. Okay. Like I'm just kind of like like tapping it really gently and just like moving around, uh, and it feels totally natural. It just feels like this is the way like quadcopters should work. Uh, like just really gently, just like sliding my fingers over the surface and then taking them off when I'm happy with the position and the quad basically just keeps flying straight ahead. So um, anyway, that's the that's the new steam control from Valve. Um, it's gonna be awesome once we sort of use the USB port in here, plug it into some kind of like, I don't know, I guess you'd plug it into like a little Arduino or some kind of device that can basically take the output from these two joysticky type things and turn it into the PPM signal to go directly out over uh, FR Sky or whatever the frequency is um, and actually fly real quadcopters with this. I think it's going to be super exciting. So hopefully somebody with better electronic skills than me will actually hack that up because um, it'd be nice to be, I mean, this costs 40 quid, right? What does a Tyrannus cost these days? 160 quid, 150 quid, something like that? I can imagine buying one of these, buying a $12 Arduino, like building the circuit board at home and then plugging it into an FR Sky, mod FR Sky module, which is like 22 pounds or something. And so for 60 quid, you'll have something which is like way, way more portable and way, way more fun to fly with. Um, so like, I, whoops, I genuinely think that this is sort of the, let me see, if I just tap there together, it should take off right. Yeah, I genuinely think this is like a, a, a completely new way to control all sorts of games. I think this, this Steam control is going to be super, super successful. Um, and I think it actually might uh, might break out of the gaming world and into the real world uh, for flying multi-rotors. So anyway, that's the new Steam controller. Highly recommended.